federal treasurer has insisted his third budget is ambitious but responsible in tackling the cost of living crisis. But Jim Chalmers has faced criticism for a $300 handout to all households, with claims it will fuel inflation and ultimately hurt Australians more. There's no spin quite like the day after the budget. Well, I'll give you all the good news. From July the 1st, every household will get $300 off their bill over the next year. And for those with a holiday home or running another house, the discount applies to each bill. Our share house is usually about $1,000, $900 to $1,000 a quarter. $300 a year doesn't really even put a dent in that. It's just a fast solution. But it, at least it's something. But the lack of means testing has made it a tougher sell. We made the assessment. Uh, that the best way to do it was to provide it broadly. The Treasurer insists it'll reduce inflation, but others aren't so sure. Will people spend this money on their bills or will they start to spend it on other things stoking demand? And the risk of that, put with this big spending budget, has caused alarm. To me, it is working against the Reserve Bank, against monetary policy, and it's likely to mean that inflation will be higher for longer. The budget had been promoted as helping bring down inflation within the Reserve Bank target of under 3% by Christmas. But the spending shows up in the bottom line. A second surplus is forecast, but then there are deficits for the years ahead. And in those later years, there'll be tax incentives offered to promote private investment in hydrogen and critical minerals processing as part of Labor's Future Made in Australia push in the transition to renewables. Why is the Prime Minister spending $13.7 billion on tax credits for billionaires at a time when ordinary Australian battlers are struggling to make ends meet? Yeah. Mr Speaker, spare us the questions about billionaires. Well, the billionaires are doing pretty well in this budget. They're getting production tax credits as well as the $300 energy subsidy. When all is said and done, the measure of this budget and whether it's addressing cost of living is if inflation does in fact come down and the Reserve Bank starts cutting interest rates before people head to the polls. Well, the election's due in 2025. We're not focused on elections or politics. What we're focused on is getting the settings right. The Treasurer added he's expecting to hand down another budget before an election. Ashley Raper for 10 News First.